Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to practice solving a system of equations by using substitution. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, in this system of equations, we have x equals 5 and x plus y equals 12. Now, when figuring out the solution for a system, we are looking for the x and the y value that would satisfy both equations. Now, sometimes one of the two equations is actually going to tell you what the x or the y is equal to. If we take a look at this first equation, it is telling us that x is exactly 5. So we already know what one of our two answers is in the system. Now, what we're going to do, because it says that x is equal to 5, is we are going to substitute x in the other equation with 5. So what we do is we take this second equation and we take this x and substitute it with 5 and then we write the remainder of our equation and what we do is we solve for y. Now to isolate y we just have to take everything else on that same side of the equal sign and move it to the other side by performing inverse operations. So we're going to take this positive 5 here and move it to the other side by writing minus 5. And 12 minus 5 is 7 and we are left with positive 1y or just y. So we know that x equals 5 and we know that y equals 7. So we would say that the solution to this system as an ordered pair would be 5, 7, meaning that this is the single point on the coordinate plane where the two lines formed by these two equations would intersect each other. And it also means that this x and this y would satisfy both of the given equations. So our first equation, x equals 5, would be graphed as a vertical line going through positive 5 on the x-axis. And the second equation, I'm going to rewrite in slope-intercept form by taking this x and moving it to the other side. So what I would do is I would leave y on the left. I would slide this 12 over to the right a little bit and write a plus in front of it because it is positive and take this x term and write it in this spot as its opposite, which would be negative x. And remember, when we don't see a coefficient, we should understand that it really is a 1. So the y-intercept of this equation is positive 12, which is right here. And the slope of this line is negative 1, meaning we would have to go down 1 over 1 and make a new point, down 1 over 1, make another point. And we could continuously do this. Now, if we go ahead and construct a line going through those points, we could see where the intersecting point is of the two equations, which is right here. And the coordinates of that point are positive 5 for the x value and positive 7 for the y value, just as we solved by using a little bit of algebra. All right, let's do another example. All right, for this system right here, notice that our first equation has y isolated. And whenever you have one of the two equations with an isolated variable, you're going to take what that variable is equal to and substitute it in for that variable in the other equation. So what we're going to do is take the y in this equation and substitute it with 2x plus 7. So we're going to take this second equation and rewrite it as 3x minus 4 times what y is equal to and write that in parentheses. So we're going to write 2x plus 7 inside parentheses, and then set that equal to negative 13. Now, if we take a glance at our equation, notice that the only variable we have in that equation is an x. So we can solve 4x. Because when you have an x and a y in an equation, you can't solve for either one unless you know the value of one or the other. So now what we're going to do is simplify this equation a bit. We're going to write 3x and then we're going to take this minus 4 and distribute it to these two terms. So that's going to be negative 4 times 2x, which is negative or minus 8x. And then we're going to multiply negative 4 times positive 7, which is negative 28, and set that equal to negative 
13. Now what we're going to do is combine these two like terms here. 3x minus 8x is negative 5x minus 28 equals negative 13. And now I'm going to take this constant right here and write the inverse of it on the other side, which is positive 28. And then we're going to combine negative 13 and positive 28, which is positive 15. And on the left, we still have negative 5x. And now to remove this coefficient, we divide it by itself so we can make positive 1x and balance our equation by dividing 15 by negative 5 as well. And in this case, x is equal to negative 3. Now, thus far, we only have the x location of our point. Now we have to determine the y value of the system. So once you have one of the two values, you can take that value and substitute it in for x into one of the two original equations. And I always advise to pick the one that would be easier for you to solve. So I'm going to take this first equation here, y equals 2. And instead of x, I'm going to substitute x with negative 3. And then add 7. So now we have y equals 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, and add 7. And when we combine negative 6 and 7, that is positive 1. So we have an x value of negative 3 and a y value of positive 1. So the ordered pair would be written as negative 3, positive 1. And this is the location where both of the lines would intersect each other on the coordinate plane. All right, let's go ahead and do one more example. Now with the first two examples, remember we had an x or a y isolated in one of the two equations before we even started. But sometimes you're going to get a system where you do not have an x by itself or a y by itself. So what you have to do is choose one of the two equations and isolate either the x or the y before you can even substitute. And I would always advise take the equation that it would be easier to isolate a variable for. For example, I can see that in this equation, there's only a single x right here, which means if I take this negative 2y and move it to the other side, this x is going to be isolated. Now, if we tried it with this equation and moved this term to the other side, we would still have to remove this negative 8. So I'm going to take this equation right here and isolate the x variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this minus 2y and write that term as its inverse on the other side. And that leaves us with just an x. And then I'm going to write 1 plus 2y. Now that we know what x is equal to, we're going to substitute what it is equal to in for x into the other equation. So we're going to take this equation here, negative 8, and substitute the x right here with what it is equal to, which is 1 plus 2y. And then we are going to subtract 7y and set it equal to negative 8. So in this case, we are solving for the value of y. So let's go ahead and distribute this negative 8 to both terms inside parentheses. Negative 8 times 1 is negative 8. And negative 8 times positive 2y is negative 16y. And then we just bring down this term, minus 7y, and set it equal to negative 8. Now we can combine these two y terms. So let's bring down this minus 8 here and combine negative 16 and negative 7, which is negative 23y and bring down the equal sign and our negative 8. Now we're going to take our constant and move it to the other side. So we're going to take this negative 8 and write it as positive 8 on the other side. And on the right-hand side, we have opposite integers, which, of course, gives us 0. And over here, we have negative 23y. Now, we should understand that the only thing we can multiply negative 23 by to get 0 would be 0. So at this point, we already know that our y value is equal to 0. 
So what we're going to do is we are going to substitute 0 in for y into one of the original equations. So thus far, we know that our y value is equal to 0. So we are looking for what our x value is. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this equation right here that we rewrote, because you can actually use the equations that you manipulate or rewrite a bit and use substitution with that equation. So I'm going to rewrite this as x equals 1 plus 2y, but substitute this y with 0. And that will tell us what x is equal to. So we have 1 plus nothing because 2 times 0 is 0. And right away, we just have x equals 1. So we know that our x value is 1 and our y value is 0, meaning the point of intersection for this system would be positive 1, 0. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Till next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.